Have to read a lot of the chat I'm driving I feel like I'm always driving that's the only time I have free time it's the only time I was gonna get on here earlier but I took some uh, Benadryl to try to get rid of my um, swollen eye and it knocked me out this morning so I didn't plan on sleeping my day off away but I ended up sleeping my day off away hello I'm doing good doing good just went and got my allergy shots and um got uh some goat feed because i was out of goat feed but hope you are having a good day hey how were those concerts captain kurt were they good i have to work so i can't go to all the concerts but i would if i could afford it but i have a job They looked fun. They looked like they were really good. They did. They looked really good. Yeah, they they looked really good. They did. I um had a really eventful weekend. Um, so Friday morning, I got up early. Um, I had to pick up, um, Skylar at the airport at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, we went from there. I went back home. Um, all of my kids got ready and we went to, um, Centennial Park in Nashville. So we've known about this for a few weeks um, my daughter didn't of course but my daughter has been um, dating Lynn for four years now and um, Lindsay is she just fits right in and um, I'll tell you a little story about how I met Lindsay after I tell you this and I'm really surprised she stayed around and you'll see why but so she um, wanted to ask Courtney to marry her and um y'all Lindsay is just precious she's just precious she's so soft-spoken so quiet so sweet she definitely is nothing like us at all but we'll get her there um but yes yeah, so we have been anticipating this day forever so I picked Skylar up at the airport 8 a.m came back to the house all the kids got ready I kept them out of school um, we went to Centennial Park. We're literally hiding, y'all, behind bushes. Skylar is laying inside bushes to take videos because Lindsay asked her to. Um, Courtney had been on a scavenger hunt that morning. Lindsay had sent her and a couple of her friends on a scavenger hunt. Um, and then she ended up in Centennial Park, and um, it was just the most precious little thing I've ever seen. Um, Lindsay was so nervous. She was just shaking all over, and um, it was just... It was beautiful. Um, I've tried to make a video about it a thousand times for my daughter, and I just end up bawling every time. Um, y'all, she's she's my best friend, y'all. She is. She um, she's my best friend. You know, when you have a daughter, you just hope that um, you can be close with her and um, that she'll feel comfortable and will talk to you. And this girl she talks to me and we are so close and um i couldn't ever ask for anything more with her she's and i know i'm biased but she is absolutely the perfect daughter and i i'm so happy for her and i hope that she um 
just has the most happy, happy life. She's out now and still be the person. I'm not sure why I'm losing service because I never lose service on this road, so that's really weird. Um, but yeah, so we're getting sage shortly, so my family's just growing and growing, and I love it because I love big families, um, as you can tell. Um, absolutely love big families. So this is um, just so many blessings, so many blessings. I just am, I'm here for it. I'm definitely here for it. Um, but then I went um, yesterday and got me two new goats. Um, and I planned on getting the one. The one was what I was going to get, the little boy. And then they had a little girl that I just fell in love with. And um, so, of course, I had to get her so he would have a friend. Because my goats are bigger and I didn't want him to be alone and be singled out. So, I got the little girl. Um, and they are precious. And then this is what I get, you know. Until I get used to them, I'll be, um, you know swollen eyes and itchy skin and until I get used to them so but that's okay I went and got my shots today and I'm um, hopefully with that combined with the Benadryl and Claritin it'll um, go down hopefully um, but yes yeah, so it's been an eventful weekend um, y'all my daughter looked stunning she looks stunning she's she's gorgeous anyway she is um, beautiful inside and out she's a precious girl and um, when she walked up on that bridge and seen Lindsay standing there and then kind of peeped us in the you know bushes because we're not very inconspicuous um, and Skylar bless her heart had on this bright pink dress and she's laying down on the ground and I'm like oh my gosh she's a complete nut and then as soon as you know Courtney said yes we're all screaming and it was just, it was the best time. It was, it was the best time. So, yeah. Really good weekend, y'all. Really good weekend. And, yeah, that's, that's what we did. It was great. And, um, it's just been so much going on. I feel bad. I haven't, haven't had a chance to be on here a lot. It's just been, my life's been crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, you know, trying to figure out things with, you know, we've been remodeling our ho house. Hopefully we can sell it, you know, within the next year. Um, you know, the kids' school is ending. Um, it's almost over trying to get, you know, study for exams and get ready for TCAP. And, um, my son had prom this weekend. That's another thing that happened Saturday. My son had prom and... He is just the cutest little thing ever, and um, he looked adorable, and he's just, man, I um, had the best time taking him, you know, to the drop him off, and, uh, and my daughter has her permit, and she's driving, and it's just, oh my gosh, my, my life is like a snowball going downhill and all these things are happening at once and I'm trying to take it all in and it's just so much and oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And I've got two extra dogs at the house this week because Corny and Lindsay went on an anniversary um, vacation, a, time, a mini vacation to Gatlinburg and I have their little dog and Billy and Skylar, um, of course, are in Florida, so I have their little dog, and I'm going to their house, and I'm feeding their big dogs every day, and their cats, and, um, of course, I pass by S Sage's, um, nursery, so I have to stand and look at that for a few minutes, and, um, my life is chaotic right now, so I'm trying to manage all this stuff that's going through my mind, and the last thing on my mind is picking the phone up, and, you know, it is what it is, but I like chaos. I just like it to be organized a little bit. So I've got to plan the baby shower um, and now possibly start planning a wedding um, that may be next year. Um, oh my gosh, it's just... And I have an old brain, so I'm uh, struggling to keep it all together. So, yeah, yeah. 
and um, I was watching Wade's live last night and because I took Benadryl in the middle of the live I fell asleep and then when I woke up it was over so it was like oh my god oh my god but yeah yeah it's been a great weekend it's been an amazing weekend it's so much happened but it was amazing really good weekend um, I did waste however eight minutes and I think 25 seconds of it watching that long song that I kept I kept watching it I don't know why I kept watching it because I kept thinking that maybe it would get better and then it never got better and then at the end of it I'm like why did I waste eight minutes but I did I wasted eight minutes but you know um I told Ryan, I was like, after his concert, I was like, I kept waiting for you to sing um, the, the diss track for Tom McDonald because, honestly, guys, that is one of my favorite songs of his. My favorite songs of Ryan's is his diss uh, track of Tom McDonald because it's so catchy and I catch myself singing it all the time. Um, what song? Tom McDonald made a song and it's literally 8 minutes and 25 seconds long. And I don't know about y'all, but and um, I don't really listen to him. Um, when he first came out, I remember him coming out, and people were like, oh, this guy's so good, and it just wasn't for me. Um, if you like him, that's great. Hey, different style music for different people. That's fine. I'm not going to drag the guy um, because people like different kinds of music. But I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. Um, it was rambling to me. Um, and I didn't understand really where he was going with any of it. Uh, you're fixing a record reaction? Okay. Oh, a reaction. To I haven't seen that. I'll have to go listen to that. But, um, I don't, to me, if you're an independent artist, you should want to build up other independent artists. Like, he literally dissed every independent artist out there, I feel like, because he pretty much said nobody that's independent matters and that's why would you say that like I don't I don't know it just I don't know I just didn't I didn't really understand it I didn't it didn't make sense to me like nothing it wasn't like one theme for the song if you have a song it's usually all about one thing it was all over the place for me and I was trying to, I felt like I was watching so please don't come at me for this but i know a lot of people love this movie but i felt like i was listening to napoleon dynamite in a song because when i watched napoleon dynamite for the first time i was like why did i watch that whole movie and i say the first time has watched it 20 times but when i watched it the first time why did i sit through that whole movie like and I felt the same way at the end of that song. Like, why did I listen to that whole song? Because it made clearly no sense at all. Like, I didn't get the point. Like, it had no point. Like, when you listen to a song, you're supposed to feel something or get it. Like, oh, I get it. I didn't get it at all. So, anyway, that's all I got to say about that song. But, Ryan's diss track to Tom McDonald, I play it all the time. And I listen to it all the time, and I think it's funny, and I think it's catchy, and that's one of my favorite songs of his. Yes, definitely a narcissist. Yes, definitely. And the thing is, like, he can't even take credit as being an independent artist because he doesn't write his music. So if you're independent, you're totally independent, right? Like, you don't write your own music, your wife writes it, so that's not totally independent. So come with that no but good afternoon I had to go buy some goat feed because my goats are fat and if you don't feed them when they want fed in the morning they start screaming to the top of their lungs so I what I fell asleep like I said that today because I took some Benadryl again to try to get rid of my eye and I'm messing up. And as soon as they heard me at the back door, because the back door is where, you know, my fence is, they started screaming bloody murder. And so I had to get up and go get some goat feed because I gave them the last of it last night when I came home with the new goats. 
they're spoiled y'all we took some treats out there and the boy goat will literally put his head against you he doesn't hit you which is good because he's not mean yet hopefully he doesn't get mean but he'll put his head against you with his horns and just keep pushing you and nudging you until you give him more treats more treats he's so spoiled but i love them they're so sweet they're so sweet i love the goats love my baby goats i gotta come up with names for the new ones um the boy is so tiny y'all so tiny his mama is a pygmy and she is tiny i turned my hazards on huh. she is tiny and um so he's not gonna be big as nothing and the girl goat that i got is actually younger than him and she's like a whole head taller and um he's just he looks like he should be weaned but he is he's he can eat but he's so tiny he's like a little baby It's hot here in Tennessee. It's hot today. This weather is driving me insane. I have my air on today. Your friend JG thought you said he was the goat. No. Not at all. <laughs> and not my friend. <laughs> How are you, bud? How are you guys? I'm trying to figure out why I keep losing service. Like, I have service right here. You know, I, <laughs> that guy, you know, and I don't like to talk about him because he gets so excited when people talk about him, but oh my God. <laughs> yeah, his car got keyed. And I think it's it's hilarious. Like <laughs> I think it's hilarious. His uh Honda Lambo got keyed. <laughs> uh, you can't keep screwing people over and think nothing's gonna happen. That's just it's hilarious. Maybe one day we can all afford a Honda Lambo. Or Honda Lambo, whatever it is. He's uh, something else. I like how he says all the time. I'm not going to say that guy's name. <laughs> you just said it. That guy. <laughs> uh, you know a good painter? <laughs> well, now the whole car's got to get painted, right? You know, he's like the guy, and I think I've said it before, but when you live in a small town and a tornado happens, and they put the absolute worst fucking person on TV after aftermath, after the tornado, and you're like, oh my God, our town looks so stupid. That's him. <laughs> That's him and Melinda. Like, why did you put them on TV? You could have picked anybody else in the whole town, and you put them on TV. That's... That's who they are. They're the tornado people. <laughs> in, the only people in your town you don't want on TV and they put them there. Honk for UK. I got you. Honk for UK. Always. I swear it's always like that. You see the tornadoes come through and they go, news people go in, you know, and um, devastation everywhere. And they pick some guy in Daisy Dukes and <laughs> some girl with no teeth and that's who they talk to. <laughs> and I could just picture him in that video with his shirt tucked in and his short shorts and her popping her teeth out on TV. That's who they are. That's who they are, y'all. That's them. Home sweet home, y'all. Home sweet home. I just wonder, can you get Section 8 on a mortgage?
can you get such a name? I saw that he's a healer, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I think I even commented on that, but I stay blocked. So, um, I couldn't. It's probably blocked on there. But, y'all, he, he, uh, just when you think he's not going to go any further with his psycho bullshit, now he's a healer of animals. He healed the dog. They got hit on the road. So, um, yeah. He healed the dog. <laughs> Mark, that's hilarious. Uh, well, while I got y'all here, I will show y'all the new goats before I say goodbye because they are absolutely precious. Oh, did I just lock, I thought, lock myself out of the truck? Y'all, last week I left uh, the house um, and came back and I realized I didn't have a house key. And so I had to put a ladder. Um, my son's window is messed up and I probably should be saying that online but it is what it is we fixed it but it was messed up and i had to use a ladder to get in to my son's room and i was like oh my god if my neighbors see my fat ass climbing in my son's window then well hello they're gonna think somebody's breaking in but look at that tiny little tot right there he is so lit this guy just thinks i always have treats there's my one horn goat there's that we have to put this around our air unit because they think this is a toy and they want to climb up there and pee on it and then my door to under the house they eat it so i had to put it around that but she is um two days younger than him hello guys hello hi babies hello how are oh my goodness we see you we see you what are you doing, Mama? One horn. What are you doing? Oh, y'all, hang on. Look at this. He's climbing on me. But yeah, he is so tiny. And she's been so aggressive and mean. Oh, yeah, just poop on camera. Good job. Are you eating my shirt? Quit pushing me. Hello, one horn. But yeah. Look at this, y'all. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello. She's really grown. She was a lot smaller. And big now. And he's rotten. But yeah, that's the two new ones, y'all. Oh, you need to get some goats, buddy. You definitely need to get them. They are so funny. They're like dogs. They really are. They, um, they're like little dogs. They're like... They're so much fun. She keeps breaking her horn. I don't know what happened to this horn. Uh, so every time it grows, it uh, fall. She bumps it and it falls horn. Well, there they go. Get out of here! Killed my chickens. Get out of here! That's the dogs that killed all of my chickens, and he says they never get out anymore. I want llamas too. Oh, my cats, I would never, ever give my cats a bath, ever. Yeah, I'm glad they seen those dogs because I didn't even hear them come up. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, there's the ladder where I climbed in. Huh, probably should move that. Good job, guys. You seen them and I didn't. I didn't hear them at all. Hello. Hello. So now I have six. Yeah, so I had, oh my God, y'all. I had so many chickens because, you know, I just love chickens and my daddy. Um, I feel like, you know, I just need to keep that alive. Um, I had all kinds of fancy show chickens, uh, laying chickens, all kinds of chickens. And, um, had them caged up. Here they come. They follow. I'm telling you, they're like dogs. They follow me. 
there they go up on the porch that I'm not supposed to spray off. But um, so I had like 200 chickens and um, ducks and turkeys and guineas. Um, and they wiped me out, literally wiped me out. I had fences, cages, they tore it all down. Um, took the guy to court in Dixon County. Um, chickens aren't considered livestock. They're basically just nothing, basically. So, yeah, they're going to think he snuck out. <laughs> y'all, they're going nuts right now. Look at them fighting each other. What are y'all doing? Quit fighting each other. What are y'all doing? See, I'm standing each other. And her, where she always is, trying to get me. They've been so silly here lately. I guess where it's been cold. Oh, she's walking on the rail. And they haven't been able to play much. And now that it's warm, they just want to play. They're so silly. And then they're hiding. They broke my step. And I keep having to fix it. But this is their backyard, so I'm really not worried about it. Watch out, little bitty. Hello, baby boo. They're a little skittish. They haven't been fooled with a lot. Um, my cousin didn't want them to bond to her too much. Look at her on the rail. What in the world? So I just ran some cane corsos off from her um, and they killed every one of my chickens like two years ago, I think. Um, and uh, that's what happened to all my chickens. And so until I move, I'm not gonna get any more because clearly they're still coming into my yard. And I've tried to shoot them, um, but then I feel really bad because it's not their fault, it's his fault. Like he should put his, keep his animals put up like that's, that's not okay. He, it's his responsibility. It's not their fault. It's his fault for not keeping them put up. So, yeah, I got to get the broom out because, look, y'all, my daughter literally just cleaned my porch, and you cannot tell like that. It's right back to where it was, and she will not get off that, and she will not get off that rail. They used to pick on her, but they don't pick on her anymore. Yeah, I've, okay, so I bought some, um, I don't know, what did I do? I done something to my phone, sorry. I bought some um, spools and was supposed to have them delivered and then the people like said they couldn't deliver them so they just gave my money back. But my light company down here, y'all, I don't know why I keep losing service, but, um, stock tanks with rubber mats yeah i got told um to get some roofing and put on some um some of those wooden spools it'll help keep their feet down in between trimming them so i don't know i think i might try that because i gotta trim their feet that's my pants you can't eat my pants i gotta trim their feet this weekend because they're uh growing I've, it's been a minute since i trimmed them Y'all, they literally eat my porch. Like, they eat it. Look at this guy. I don't know why he wants to eat the porch. Oh, there comes the little ones. Hello. Hello, pretty. But she's, she's queen bee around here, her. She, uh, she runs the yard, the gray one does, the little unicorn. But, all right, guys, I got to get in here and get my dogs out of the cages and let them out for a little while and unload all this feed and uh, call my neighbor and cuss him out about his um, dogs coming over here. Get your camera. Yeah, you can't get close to them, Seeper. Like, literally, you can't get close to them. I, um, and then the one he had... Um, that tried to bite me. I don't even know if he has anymore. It tried to bite me, so um, he's not 
guy. Um, he's actually on the sex offender registry. Um, and I can say that because I'm not going to say his name. Um, but he's on the sex offender registry for a violent rape. So, yeah, it's uh, not a very good situation. So, But I'm, I have his number, so I'm going to call and cuss him out and let him know his dog's been back over here again. If they touch my goats, I will, um, yeah, probably, uh, I don't know what I'll do. I can't say it online because it's not going to be very good. So, But you guys have a great day. I'll try to get back on here later. Um, coyotes. I had a coyote, you know. Uh, before I leave, I gotta tell you the story, Seeper. I had a coyote out here, and it was a very young coyote. I'm trying to find my house key. It was a very young coyote, and um, I actually felt sorry for the coyote, and I know, whatever, I'm an animal lover. Um, it, it anymore i didn't have any other animals all i had was my dogs and they never left the fence i'm the only one out to use the bathroom um but i um fed the little coyote out by the this tree in my yard toward the woods where i dump my food at night um and i would feed him because it was a young coyote it was like very very young maybe it had been abandoned but it looked so skinny and frail and um so I was feeding him every night, so, um, but then he ended up gone. I don't know where he went, but, so I did have one coyote out here, but he went away. I don't know if he died because he didn't look good, but I did feed him for a little while, so he, at least he did get some food before if he passed away, or maybe he, maybe he got better and ran away. I don't know, but, yeah, I'm dumb. I did feed him, though. But you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to run in here in my house and let all my dogs out so we can. Uh, and then I'm going to unload all this goat food. But you guys have a wonderful day. And I love you guys. And hopefully I'll be back on here um, sooner than later. Just depends on how much, much more crazy my life gets. So have a great day, guys. Love y'all.